You are about to see the absolute worst toenails you've ever seen in your life. You okay? Yeah. All right. We're going to get them as short as we can, all right? From the looks of this, it doesn't look like they've been cut in a while. Them lean down for a while. I can lean down. Well, you can't lean down. They're super long. This one's curving all the way over here. That's okay. Where are you? Uh, where are you currently staying right now? Are you staying with anybody? Tampa. Tampa? I'm just gonna get them to a manageable length so you can wear your socks a little bit better, okay? Yeah. Perfect. Let's get this one. This one you gotta get piece by piece here. Is that hurting? No. No? Just a little bit. All right. Oh my Looking a lot better already. Yeah. Just need a little TLC. This one is, uh, are you feeling better? No. Okay. A lot of junk in this one.
Sorry. Just get into where they're comfortable and get in socks, okay? And once you get out, we'll, we'll smooth them down and all that, okay? You're gonna feel a lot better though. Yeah. I feel better in my shoes. Yeah, for sure yeah. it'll fit in better in your shoes. A lot like dry skin in between the toes here. Doing a lot better. Let me tell you something. I'm the best foot doctor in all of Tampa. Not that jabroni, Dr. Todd. Not that jabroni, Dr. Krauts. I do the best ingrown toenails. I get my patients better. Hey, what are you doing? I'm the best. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and then this stuff is, uh, your stuff, okay? just, uh, calluses that are in between because it's just hard to get in between those toes and keep those areas clean and dry. It's not easy. That's why family is really important. So I'm trying to convince this gentleman to move to Michigan so that he can have family around, right? Yeah. Except why move to Michigan if you live in Tampa? That doesn't very that doesn't make very much sense, right? It's counterintuitive. I I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Where in Michigan did you live? Okay. What city? Uh, oh, that's why you said that. Okay. There we go. So you've had the wine at Traverse City then, right? What? You've had the wine at Traverse City? Yeah. It's excellent. I did not know they had wineries in Michigan or vineyards, but there's like... 12 of them. There's a lot of them. I know. It's nuts. I went there last summer and uh, we stopped at six of them. After six, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> so we stopped. But it's beautiful up there. Water's clean, air is clean. We go blueberry picking every year because in July, that's the season for blueberry picking. Michigan's the first place I saw a cougar. I don't mean the, uh, <laughs> I don't mean that type of cougar, but like a, a real cougar, <laughs> like with four, the animal, the animal cougar, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's true. We saw it like, you know, it, it looked funny because it was galloping, like, you know, wow. like like a cat, you know, moving its front like a cheetah. And I saw it, and I'm, my dad saw it too. So it was interesting to say the least. So we're getting a little bit dizzy. Row seven? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So this gentleman is going to feel much better after this because obviously you can't walk around with these things. Were you wearing shoes ever? Could you fit your feet in shoes? Sure, sure, that makes sense. And then you're home most of the time, right? Yeah. Okay. So you've been in Tampa a while, right? A few years? What's your favorite restaurant? I mean, it doesn't have to be from now, but like 
20, 30 years ago, what was your favorite restaurant? Or anytime, I don't care. Where is that? Oh, oh, it doesn't exist anymore, right? Is that the seafood place that was right on the... Did they close it down or no? Oh, I gotta look that up. You know where Palisades? Never even heard of that. Hmm. I gotta Google that. I don't know about me, sure. No? Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 mm-mm. <laughs> Gasparilla. is coming up. Yes, it is. It's today, huh? It's Saturday. Saturday. That's right. I have not been to Gasparilla yet. Really? I've lived down here for a long time and I've never been either. See? So I'm not missing much. Cool. So after party in Evo, yes, definitely So for for viewers that don't know what Gasparilla is, Gasparilla is a fictitious pirate that we made up in Tampa. Uh, and it's just a reason to have a Mardi Gras style party. So and they do it every year and it's a big deal to the city. I'm assuming it generates a lot of money. So they're never going to stop doing it, Jose but Jose Gaspar, Jose Gaspar, Gaspar, yep. Which, which he does not exist. <laughs> does not exist. At least there's no proof that he exists. Um, but no, they readily admit that it's fake. So that's interesting because it's a. You're kidding. <laughs> A representation of him, or what he, what we think he looks like. Yep. Well, you know, it's, it's. Yeah, I guess it's better than. Uh, I don't know other things like looting or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Does looting go on during Gasparilla? I don't know. Or is it just a drunken fest? Drunken, drunken fest. fest. Okay. So I heard in New Orleans, the best tip they can give you to to go to Mardi Gras in New Orleans is never sit on anything that's below your knee. family around, right? Except why move to Michigan if you live in Tampa? That doesn't very that doesn't make very much sense, right? It's counterintuitive. I I know I know I know. Where in Michigan did you live? Okay. What city? Oh, that's why you said that. Okay. There we go. So you've had the wine at Traverse City then, right? What? You've had the wine at Traverse City? Yeah. It's excellent. I did not know they had wineries in Michigan or vineyards, but there's like 12 of them. There's a lot of them. I know. It's nuts. I went there last summer and uh, we stopped at six of them. After six, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> so we stopped. But it's beautiful up there. Water's clean, air is clean. We go blueberry. That's true. You can't you can't bury people. All the dirty water washes in too. That's true. You're right. I gotta have my Wheaties. <laughs> Who was calling? I don't know. It's oh, something it's really oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my roofing. Okay, are you having any pain or anything right now, or are you good? I'm good, man. You good. Okay, so no pain meds, nothing like that? No? Okay. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check, alright? That's good, we'll take it. He'll be... He won't be in pain from his toes, that's for sure. Oh, maybe he will. Sorry. Spoke too soon. Yep, spoke too soon. <laughs> we were doing so well. Is yep. Anything, or are you good? Um... A seat would be awesome. <laughs> we don't have a stool, right? Yeah, I'll just kneel on the hospital floor. How about that? No biggie. Wouldn't be the first time. Or the last. Oh, I've laid on hospital floors. It's not the ideal situation to be in, but when you got to do it, you got to do it. Okay, I'm going to try to get underneath this thing because... I don't want it there. It's just bugging me. But you gotta be nice because it's connected to the nail bed. So you gotta kinda ease it off. And then I look at the patient to make sure he's not in any pain. You don't want to have that stuff there if you can get rid of it. Obviously, that's logical. There you go. So now you can actually see his pink skin. See? Yay, skin. There we go. 
get with that with a burr. I gotta do this side now. And there it is. Hey everybody. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Does this mask make me look fat? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, no. Oh, cool. No, you're actually. I'm smiling. I'm so happy.